check for add-ons restart button it's available here i'm directly booting into a recovery using this if you don't have that use the traditional method to boot into recovery by pressing the power button and volume up button simultaneously after booting into recovery press install here and select the storage however it is decrypted right now but if you want to install from otg and sd card you need to select manually and once it has been selected go to the respected files here i have like this and firmware 13.0.1 global not in global flash it yes of course i know there is 13.0.2 is also available but still i'm using a little bit older firmware for this particular rom once that, that has been flashed again go to install and select the rom zip file here reloaded os 13 just flash it it's a gapps variant no need to flash any custom gapps it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed successfully go to home section here and select wipe and select format data and type here y e s and press s tick button guys done now again go to home and select reboot and select the system this is how simple the flashing method of a reloaded os for poco x slash nfc version 13 based on android 13 it will be going to boot into reloaded os very soon in this video i am going to explain everything in detail about this reloaded os stay tuned till the end of the video such that you won't miss any part of the video and here we go it's booting into reloaded us and let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampath you're watching sampath samfax youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews you can see a reloaded version feel the power you can see the build type is in gapps it's an unofficial type and 13.0 latest available build for poco x with android version 13 you can see here and security patch is still 5th october 2022 and baseband version and kernel user is 4.14.10 perf kernel has been used build date december 2nd the latest available build as i said and i've been running the cpu throttling test from last 9 minutes and 36 seconds and 8 milliseconds you can see here the maximum is 191 and average is 186 and minimum is 165 and this is 100 threads test guys this is how it is it's good we see only green lines here and there yellow lines hence the minimum and average is little bit lower but still the overall score should be more than 200 that's how it is and coming to dialer you get this kind of dialer let me increase a little bit of volume and this is the volume panel you get here and you can see there is a direct video call feature is available and call recording feature is also available but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call that's how it is and you can see in the status bar you can see if it is a wi-fi 5 it shows 5 if it is 2.4 it resembles 2 if it is a wi-fi 6 anyhow we don't have that tech right now and the hd symbol has been showing here that's how the status bar and this is the ui home screen you get like this if you press you get a wallpaper some styles here change wallpaper you get nothing here and there is options of wallpaper colors and basic colors you get print of op options here in wallpaper colors you get combination of colors dark theme is available themed icons is still in beta upgrade 5 into 5 from 2 into 2 to up to 6 into 6 is available in this particular rom you can see system icon pack and system font also you can change from here and obviously the monet engine customizations like widgets and uh, theming is available here and widgets you can add here the material u design of android 13 is carried away very well and this is a quick settings panel you will see the data usage here and some of the toggles it's working fine no lag whatsoever and auto brightness sensor and all the toggles are working fine and screen recording options you get print of options here you can record both the device and microphone audio and in the edit section you get plenty of options but there is no sync option added in this particular quick settings panel and if app is active will be showed here and power button has been moved downwards and settings panel is also moved downwards you can see 
even advanced restart button is also available you can directly put into record and bootloader if you want this is how it is and let's move into the benchmark results and to the benchmark you can see here you can even judge the app opening time it's a massive 374 i can say 374 373 fancy number you can see temperature raise was just 0 0.9 degrees celsius and battery drop is three percentage during this entire android benchmark results which is very good in my opinion what i do is whenever i run the benchmark results just disable the auto brightness and keep them brightness to lower such that the device will not get heated that much and it, you will get a maximum score possible in any custom roms hope you guys also test the same but actually we don't use the smartphone like that but just to test the capability of the particular rom how best it can give the scores i am doing like this if you like the video give it a hit guys hit a like button and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below many people watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel and now moving into my geekbench you can see here even the app opening time is pretty quick here and single score is 565 and multi score is 1777 as i said before the kernel user is links 4.14.190 puff kernel has been used here which is very good in my opinion the kernel and the stability of the ui is very good this is reloaded os 13 it's an unofficial build but still it's very good in my opinion and moving into safety net status here you get it might get passed let's see i'm also curious to see yes it get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use you can use that even the whatsapp is also working fine and there is option of like this wallpaper and wall some wallpapers are printed if you want to use then you can use them and drm information level one certification you can watch all the ott applications in high definition resolution that's also not the problem the google maps are also working fine and call quality is fine and let me show the speed test here i have 100 mps geo giga fiber connection even with mobile data connection also it's pulling up to 10 to 12 mps and with geo fiber connection i have 100 mps plan it's pulling up to 90 mps which is fine in my opinion there is no problem in terms of connectivity in this reload device that in based on android then and cam regarding camera you get mui i mean in the anx camera is supported here all the toggles everything is working fine nothing breaks as of now if it breaks in some points like more and option in 64 megapixel i will update in the community tab check out my community tab in the youtube also and if you want to follow me in the instagram you can follow down the links are in the description even telegram channel with same name some effects you can follow there i will be updating some of the videos and download links there also and regarding some other of apps like fm radio is also available calculate these are simple apps here now moving into if you want to use advanced camera you can use gcam this is the arnava build gcam let me go into settings and show you this is the version of the gcam i always use in poco x slash nfc and flashing method i already shown don't make mistakes guys and if you want to flash the latest firmware you can but the 30.0.1 .1 is very much stable in my opinion and now moving into actual settings from quick settings so you can see here the basic settings are fine here and battery and battery saver you can see battery usage the battery life going to be a little bit better in terms of battery life i can say the next video is coming that will have a little bit better battery life but this is also very good and battery saver options you get extreme battery saver options are also given here apps and general settings are fine here even the notification settings you can enable or disable from here and moving into sound and vibration you get all the basic settings here you can adjust the ringtone notification down those things and media player is given and direct sound settings here you get hi-fi audio support also and even the headphone type and the preset from here even the scene options are also given here if you want you can use that using this 3.5 mm headphone jack i use jbl and sennheiser cx180 and a lot more earphones are available a couple of earphones i use usually i use jbl for this poco x is fine no problem regarding that and clear speaker option is also given here now moving into display settings you get all the basic settings here let me enable dark theme here is there any options no yeah use black theme is given here which is very important in my opinion as you can see now it's in pitch black condition even you can schedule it out let me disable the dark theme that's good thing they added this use black theme option here some other display settings like lcd features you can enable here if you want to play the games just disable that high 
BM this method also the maximum screen brightness just disable that if you want to play the high-end games like PUBG Mobile or Call of Duty or Apex Legends then you need to disable that and per app refresh rate also you can select from here now moving into other settings and full screen apps if you want to play something apps like which is not playing in full screen then you can enable from here as you can see just enable the particular app and refresh rate maximum 120 and minimum and everything i kept to 120 which is smooth enough if you want to very good battle if you can disable i mean you can minimize the refresh rate here and color settings also i forget to show adaptive natural boosted saturated you can keep anything and let's come back here and reloaded extras here get you get little bit of customization here you can see status bar customization tap to sleep is given battery style you can choose from here battery percentage you can enable or disable and uh, i can manager and display mode and traffic indicators there are two types of options here you can either see in bits or bytes like kilobytes or kilobits options are given here auto hide option is also enable or you can disable that and show data usage and brightness slider position and show brightness slider in qs panel and auto brightness button you can enable or disable this buttons customization quick torch and playback control is given power menu as i said advanced restart button you can enable from here and miscellaneous settings here you get unlimited photo storage is by default it is unlimited storage in google photos no need to worry that if you want these options like unlock high fps in games just enable that we will be helpful in playing the vgmi or pubg mobile like games now moving into accessibility which is very important in my opinion just enable this without actually using the physical buttons you can access the volume and even the brightness also from here lock screen options is also given and you can go to recent apps also from here just disable that and some other settings like haptic and feedback strength you can adjust from here as you can see vibration and haptics you can enable or disable you can even adjust the intensity of it that's how it is and moving back to security settings you get here face unlock and fingerprint unlock even the app lock is also pre-installed no need to install any third party applications here and more security options by default it's encrypted but anyhow if you boot into recovery the rom become decrypted that's how it is and if you go into system here and into gestures into system navigation into gesture navigation there are no such options to increase the pill length and radius but still the it is fine here if they would have given the option then it would be better in my opinion but anyhow one handed mode is also working fine as you can see and some other mode like swipe to three finger screenshot and quickly open camera those things are working fine no problem regarding that okay that's how it is and moving to fingerprint unlock let me show you as you can see it's pretty much quick to unlock it's not the fastest i can say but that's how it is and face unlock okay it's also fast enough just you need to see it correctly and there is option like you can see here there is a qr code option like this animation has been added here that's how it is uh, regarding this particular rom i can say this is a very good rom you can use it as a daily driver the scores are very good what you can expect from any custom rom those are fine and the user interface wise is also smooth enough i did not face any lag or anything like that i am using since uh, three four hours now a couple of hours it's fine as you can see even the settings panel are moving into quick settings those are fine here and call quality everything is fine even the headphone jack quality is also fine i don't have any problems even stereo speakers are also working fine you can definitely try it out as a daily driver this is very good rom you can use it for poco xc the camera options are also very good and if you want root you can use magics also and install some other modules here and let me show you the bgmi gameplay i have the pubg mobile gameplay what all the graphic settings it handle obviously you know it will support sub 90 fps option let's see you guys can see here the graphics is set to smooth plus 90 fps that you need to enable in the miscellaneous settings and let's jump into boot camp and volume is also you can see here it's pretty good here
I don't think so. Any enemy landed here. What teammates have been landed? No enemies. Because I'm in low level here as of now. It's smooth and definitely you can't expect uh, like uh, any HDR extreme like that but for the smooth 90 FPS it is handling pretty good definitely it's going to be make difference while playing these kind of games in order to play the 40 FPS and 90 FPS it's a huge difference I can say you just need to enable that in the uh, miscellaneous settings then you can achieve these settings and you can play very good game and take some breaks while playing the games you guys can see here the stereo speakers are also loud enough that's how it is and i'll come back here and show you the charging animation in this particular rom will it support 33 watt charging or not let's see it is showing charging rapidly you can definitely use it as a daily driver guys many things are right in this particular room no problem i have faced as of now if i face anything i'll be updated in the community section and this how the reloader is 13 review for this particular room ram management have been good as of now let's see how it handles in the future and the battle life could be better and uh, that's all guys in this video if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now